I'm Clay Newman. This is the Zoo Review. On today's episode, we're going to be learning about a real basic bitch, the house sparrow. Now, if you've ever eaten a sandwich in public, you've seen one of these cute little guys hopping around trying to snag a breadcrumb or two. They got a cool color pattern, different shades of browns and blacks, and like most birds, the papa birds are a little bit sexier than their ladybird counterparts. They got a couple things going for it in the adorableness category. They hop around real cute like when they're foraging. Always gonna get you a couple points there. Also, they take cute little dust baths. Isn't that fun? Now, you wouldn't think a dust bath would be an effective way of cleaning yourself, but by rubbing around in the dirt all fun like, they get all the oils out of their feathers and it helps them fly a little bit easier. Now, they're not flashy necessarily and they are incredibly common to the point where it hurts them in this category if the flamingo was hot pants the house sparrow it'd be boring ass slacks so when it's all said and done in this category they got a score of 13 points they are pretty defensive creatures they will defend their nests and their adorable little bath spots plus they will steal nests from other birds that said they're not exactly high up on the bird totem pole. Other birds are constantly punking them. When you're trying to feed them in public, chances are a blackbird or a blue jay, they're going to get that chip first. They got some natural predators, but since they live so close to humans, the house cat is always fucking these guys up. When it comes to badassness, frankly, the most they could achieve is really being annoying. In this category, they've only got a score of five. How intelligent is the house sparrow? Well, there is a wide array of man-made structures that they're capable of nesting in. Plus, they can nest both in colonies and on their own. They got a couple pretty clever feeding strategies as well. They will steal food from other birds. Always a clever move. Also, they've been seen puncturing holes in the flowers to get the nectar to drain out. There is a social hierarchy. The darker the feathers around the male's neck, the older and more dominant that male is. They breed in pairs, but studies have shown that 15% of offspring come from a bird outside of the breeding pair, which makes the house sparrow the official bird of Ashley Madison. In terms of intelligence, pretty standard stuff as far as birds go. I'm going to give them nine points. Now, the special skills category is going to bleed into will they make it a little bit, because like the rock pigeon and the starling, the biggest special skill of the house sparrow is their ability to live alongside human beings. Also, like those two birds I just mentioned, the rock pigeon and the starling, the house sparrow, not native to North America. They were introduced in Brooklyn back in 1849, and it took less than 50 years for them to be popular all the way to the Rockies. Not too long before 1900, they were introduced in San Francisco and Salt Lake City as well, and at that point, it was pretty much all over. Some of these guys live their entire lives inside of a warehouse. Some nest 2,000 feet below ground in coal mines. They live in just about any city across the country, and that has prompted bird fans to fucking hate them. The level of disdain birders have for this creature is hilarious to me. To hear them talk about it, it's basically like Robins and Blue Jays or South Park characters yelling, THEY TOOK OUR GERBS! In this category, the house sparrow gets a score of 14. Will they make it? The house sparrow is officially listed as least concern. Now remember, this category, will they make it, looks at how does this creature survive alongside human beings? Will it still be there as humans continue to devour more and more of the planet? And as we've learned in the last couple categories, they're going to be just fine. They're so used to humans that they'll even use my bird feeder, despite the fact that it looks like a serial killer made it. They prefer nesting in man-made structures. Some of them are comfortable enough with people to eat right out of their hands, and they're found across almost the entirety of North America and a little bit beyond. These guys are so popular here in North America that the scientific community uses them for most avian studies. Now, this is horrible news for individual sparrows, but for the species, it's still a plus. Now, they don't do so well in the countryside, and every once in a while, a city's population of sparrow will just completely drop off. They were the most common bird in London until the 90s, but for whatever reason, a huge drop-off cut that population down by a huge percentage. Now, the fact is, 
they'll survive us. In the late 1800s here in America, there was a thing called Sparrow Clubs, where our president tasked our nation with just fucking murdering sparrows. Groups would get together, and whichever gang could kill the most would get a fun prize. In this category, the House Sparrows got a score of 18 points. Well, the scores are tallied for the House Sparrow, and it turns out, being a basic bitch, well, that's just fine. It's got a score of 59 points, which is tied with the Black Rhino for 8th place, just behind the Western Scrub Jay. So close to third best bird. Thank you guys for tuning in, as always. I really appreciate it. My name's Clay Newman, and this is The Zoo Review.